Diamondback flexible gas piping. It's corrugated stainless steel tubing, CSST for short, flexible fuel gas line. Diamondback CSST can be connected directly to the gas meter, can be used for elevated pressures up to 5 PSI, and takes a fraction of the time to install compared with conventional black iron pipe. It connects directly to stationary appliances, like furnaces, and to termination fittings for portable appliances, like dryers. Diamondback a true time-saving and money-saving way to install fuel gas piping. Hello. Welcome to my world of Diamondback Corrugated Stainless Steel Tubing System. My name's Mark Blissett. Today I'm going to show you just how easy it is to install a fuel gas system in that house that's under construction right there. So here's some corrugated stainless steel tubing spools. There's half inch. There's three-eighths. That's what we're going to be using today. Matter of fact, this is just about everything I'm going to need to install a fuel gas system, including my hand tools. So, come with me. This won't take long at all. I've already spent some time going over these blueprints to size the gas system for the home. Some of the information I need to size this would be the supply pressure. Gas utility said they were going to set us up with two pounds to the house. Also need to know the BTU ratings on each gas burning appliance. Got that information here from the contractor. And uh, the distance from the, of each line. So the distance from the gas meter to the manifold and from each appliance uh, to the manifold. With that information in my sizing guide, here in my design and installation manual, or I've got some sizing tables in my handy dandy little pocket sizing guide for Diamondback. So with this information, I'm ready to go. Okay, we're down in the basement now where we've installed this manifold assembly. And it's commonly referred to as a load center. And what the load center consists of is the uh, shutoff valve for the whole system, this elevated pressure shutoff valve. And it's going to come over here to a regulator. This regulator will drop the uh, supply pressure from about two pounds down to about, say, 7 to 10 inches water column outlet. This is a vent limiter device. Whenever you've got a vent limiter device on the regulator, it needs to be horizontal and, and straight there. And then we come into our manifold assembly and mount it on some manifold brackets. And you'll notice here that we have eight outlets. And each one of these outlets goes to a specific gas burning appliance. So this may be running off to a fireplace. We could be going to the dryer in the laundry area, the kitchen range, the barbecue on the back porch, et cetera. And the neat part about this system is we've got two valves here uh, so that we can expand the system later. After the homeowner moves into the house, if they're wanting to put, oh, say, a, uh, a furnace in the garage, there's a line that they can use to add a furnace in the garage or even a jacuzzi on the back porch. But the important part to remember is the system is ex uh, expandable. You can expand the system very easily. And I'm trying to think of what else we've got to do. We've got some holes drilled so we can run the, the tubing through our holes. We've got the manifold here. I think we're ready to go. Let's snake some diamond back tubing. OK, and now we're running diamond back tubing. Now notice, we're not getting all greasy. We're not getting all oily. Matter of fact, we haven't even broken sweat yet. And I think we just did about 20 feet there. We're going past any obstructions. Sure is a cakewalk. There's the fireplace outlet. That was about 40 feet, and that was a couple minutes. And that's the reason I love this stuff so much. 
Diamondback has some safety components to the system, one of which would be this striker plate, and this striker plate is made of 16 gauge hardened steel. It's not to be confused with other striker plates that an electrician or a plumber might use. This is going to prevent future puncture threats, such as nails or screws, uh, causing a problem or a gas leak in the Diamondback tubing. Another safety feature you'll notice if you look up here, this is floppy conduit, a strip wound conduit, and we've got our Diamondback running through here. This is going to prevent, there again, nails or screws being uh, going through this board and, and, and causing a hole. The striker plate would be mounted just like this. As a matter of fact, uh, Rick's going to stand up there and put that on there and show you just how easy this goes together. Okay, now we've run all the lines. You can see here we've got all the lines run. And now it's time to make the joints from the tubing to the manifold to our fittings here. Uh, I started by trimming this jacket, the tubing jacket, back so I can have access to this first cor uh, corrugation here, this convolution. That's where my split rings are going to go. I'm going to use this seal nut. I call this a seal nut because it's got an O-ring on the back side of it, which is going to create a moisture seal as I slide that onto the tubing. That's designed to mate with the tubing jacket and create a, a moisture seal. And I've got a couple split rings here that I'm going to put on. As I mentioned, they're going to go in the first corrugation. And as I get these on, I'm going to pull the seal nut down. The seal nut will capture those split rings. So they're in there now. And I'm going to go ahead and use this to thread onto my fitting. And as I do this and I tighten this up, the stainless steel tubing will come in contact with the brass fitting, and it's a compression fitting as I tighten them down, and that will create the seal, and that will be a leak-proof seal. Now, down in the basement, I was just showing you how a mechanical fitting was hooking up to the manifold. Those mechanical fittings are the same fittings we're going to use to attach to stationary appliances, such as furnaces, water heaters, and so forth. When we're going to attach to a, uh, the Diamondback CSST to a portable appliance, such as a dryer, what we need to use there is a termination fitting, and this is a termination fitting here. You'll see that it's almost exactly like the mechanical fitting we were just working with, except this is threaded on the back side, and it's threaded to mate with this flange, and this is termination flange. So as you can see, we're running our Diamondback CSST up through the floor here. Our flange would go on here, and incidentally, this would be the same flange, the same termination fitting we would use if we wanted to come out the wall. We have a termination uh, bracket that would uh, mount to this 2x4, and so we could mount this here, and, and we could be coming out the wall. The contractor, in this case, wants to come out the floor, and the contractor's always right. Put the flange on here. We'll take this fitting apart, capture, uh, careful not to lose our split rings here, and then we'll go ahead and put our seal nut on. This nut has the O-ring in it, just like the original, so we do have a moisture seal. Uh, between the O-ring and the uh, tubing on the jacket. And we go ahead and put our seal rings on here. I've already trimmed the, the jacket back so we can get this on here. And when we get the seal rings on, uh, the split rings on, we're going to pull the seal nut up, capture those, put our mechanical fitting together. And this would be tight. And at this point, you would grab a couple wrenches and you would go ahead and, and tighten this fitting up. When this fitting's tight, you take your, grab your flange, and your flange screws on here, and you get this flange assembly nice and tight. At that point, you would go ahead and mount this to the floor. There we are. Tighten this whole assembly. Mount this assembly to the floor. You're ready to go on with your, your hand valve, gas shutoff valve, and an, an acceptable appliance connector flexible appliance connector. That's how easy it is to put a, a termination fitting together. Okay, this is the laundry area. This is going to be the kitchen. And we can see in the kitchen, this is where the gas stove is going to be. We've got some diamond back run up to the floor, and we're going to have the exact same termination fitting in this area as we did in, in the uh, laundry area. And then we've got a gas fireplace. And this gas fireplace is going to have 
a log lighter valve in the floor. And we ran some diamond back to the supply here, and then we've run some diamond back here that's going to hook up to our uh, gas fireplace. And when the ceiling gets finished downstairs, that's going to wind up being a concealed fitting, and diamond back is approved for concealed fittings. What I'd like to do now is show you where the supply gas is going to enter the home. It's just around the corner. Come on, I'll show you. This is the supply to the whole house. In a couple of weeks from now, the gas utility is going to come out, and they're going to set a meter here, and then they're going to hook their meter up to this supply line. This termination fitting that we're looking at is similar to the termination fittings we were using in the, in the kitchen and the laundry area, except this is brass. Not only does the brass look good, but it doesn't rust. This is similar to a, a termination fitting that we're using on the back porch for a barbecue. We come out, we have an exterior brass flange for the, uh, for the barbecue. And that just about wraps up this job. And there's Daryl Geller, Geller Plumbing. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good to see you. Uh, not only is Daryl a licensed plumber, he's also the contractor for this job. And it was his decision to use Diamondback. Uh, Daryl, why do you, did you use Diamondback corrugated stainless steel tubing here? Well, it saves a lot of time. It's lightweight. It's easy to work with. The guys like it. We, uh, we knocked it out pretty fast, and it really came in really well for us, I thought. You're going to use it some more in your future. Yeah. yeah. Thank Plan you very on. much. I know you're Thank busy. You. got things to do. I appreciate your time. Thank you. Bye. You've heard it said your whole life, time is money. There's never enough time in a day. A stitch in time and I could go on. Bottom line is Diamondback CSST saves time, saves money because you're off the job faster. It's a must for any contractor who wants to get on and off the job on schedule. It's a flexible system. The homeowner can add to it in years down the road. It's uh, flexible for your, your gas piping needs. You can use this for LP or natural gas. You can use it for high pressure. You can use it for low pressure. And it adds value to a home.